Ellie, you have no idea how lucky we seem to be over the last few days. But it is indeed a big elephant bull. And we've just missed him. Sebastian and I are kicking ourselves. He was just at Treehouse Dam. We must have missed him maybe by 10 minutes or so. If Maybe if we hadn't spent as much time with those kudu, we could have seen him splashing about in the water. But a beautiful lad, nonetheless. And I'm happy that we've managed to find, even if it is just one elephant on his own. But he looks quite... I think he looks beautiful with all the different colours that he's got over himself at the moment. Obviously those lytic patches are from sand and some parts of it also just because he didn't get any water and mud on his body and then the darker bits are from all the lovely water. He didn't do a very good job though. That was a, a half-hearted sort of splash about in the water. It's not exceptionally hot so we, we don't normally see the elephants spending too much time at the uh, water at this time of the year splashing themselves. They'll just go down have a quick sip of water, maybe a couple of trunkfuls sprayed over their body just to help cool them down, maybe to keep the flies at bay too. But other than that, that's all. And I really hope that this giant doesn't move too far into the thicket because we might lose him. He's actually moved quite far off of the road now. He's just following a big animal pathway off to go and obviously feed on something delicious. I wonder if there are any more elephants around here. We will go and check twin dams around Baboon Pan. Of course, we're looking for a leopard. We might find some elephants coming through here. He wasn't a very old bull either. He looked not ginormous, average-sized elephant bull, I would say. I'd probably put him in his, in his early 30s. Some oxpeckers flying overhead too, looking for their next target to land on. Don't think you're going to go down to the elephant. No, no, he's circling. Maybe he's practicing to be a vulture. That one, and just you can't, it's difficult to see him, but you can sort of just uh, hear him above us. Now oh, he's gone. He obviously realised that no, elephant's not what I'm looking for. I shall go somewhere else. But sadly, I think we might have to wait for this elephant to pop out on the other side. Actually, if I go forward, we might get another view of him. Shall I try that? And I believe we're breaking the internet now too with they're trying to figure out what the speed of a kudu is. Now the book that I have, which is, it's a specialist book on animal behavior, talks about how high they can jump, but it doesn't say anything about their speed. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to help you, but perhaps Ali has got, oh, it's a tough one. Perhaps ali has got another book with her. Uh, all books are slightly different. Obviously it's everybody's opinion and their experiences of the various animals in different areas. Um, I don't think I just said that. Why am I repeating myself today? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Aaron, it's a very intelligent answer that you've given by saying that the speed of a kudu probably depends on what type of uh, prey is chasing it. I do concur. That's why I say the fastest I've ever seen a kudu run was after uh, wild dogs were tailing behind it. Uh, I didn't think that they could move so fast. Like I said, I know and I've seen kudu jumping over massive game fences before and it is spectacular to see something so large and, and then also being so athletic. So it'll be somewhere between, I reckon, between 60 and 70 kilometers an hour. We can say roughly. I don't know if there's anyone out there that has ever timed a kudu or done a race against a kudu. So until we have that day, we won't know. Now you might hear a bit of noise just in the distance. It's, it's an aeroplane, just a small aircraft, obviously taking off from Chitwa Chitwa, which is not too far from here, or maybe even Arethusa. Obviously dropped some guests off. You can also hear the song of a crested barbet. It's just singing out and about at the moment. There seems to be a duet going on at the moment. Now the elephant is just gonna carry on eating for most of the day. He's had a cool down, and I think he'll enjoy himself in this wooded area. Lots of bush willows, lots of round leaf teak marulas, all sorts of his favorite fruit, maybe even a trunk full of grass. Here and there, if he sticks it under some shrubs and gets the nice green bit still. But there he goes, right behind the bushes. Let's go towards Twin Dams. Maybe we get lucky and we find some more elephants there.